Hi everybody, my name is Miss Sarah and today we're going to talk about the calm down corner. We're going to talk about why it's important, um, how to set one up, and kind of how to use one. So first, let's talk about why it's important. It's important so that your children have a special place to go to when they're feeling overwhelming feelings like angry, sad, um, upset, or even worried, maybe even excited because this is a special time of year where everybody's kind of coming together and going and moving apart. So we want to have a special place for them to, to come to and to learn how to calm their feelings down. First, what we want to do is we want to make sure that everybody understands how to use it. It's a place where you can go with your child or you can have your child go themselves, but they have to be willing to go to this area. So have them help you set it up so it's their special place so that they enjoy going to it even if they're not feeling tired or sad or excited or mad, they can still go there and still enjoy having that space to themselves. So let's talk about how to step one up. There are a couple things that you can do. You can put books in the center, you can put writing materials, you can put dry erase boards, or you can even use one of these little packets where they can write on it with a dry erase crayon or marker and then all you do is wipe it off and they can go to town anytime they want. We also have another idea that you could use. You could put a notebook or even computer paper in there and they can scribble away or draw their feelings. Whatever they want to do, they can get it all out on here. And it's simple because as soon as you run out of paper, just fill it back up. We also have some special things in here that we can do. You can make this or you can also um, get them off of Pinterest or something like that. Or you can have your child draw the faces and have them put it on here so that if they're feeling happy right now, they can put the little happy on there. If they're feeling sad, they can put the little sad. And it helps them to relate what they're feeling and that it's okay to feel that. And that it's okay because it can always change. And they can always make it different. We also have this little thing, which everybody's going to get a copy of. It's when I'm frustrated. But it could be feeling anything, when I'm frustrated, when I'm angry, when I'm worried, because sometimes when children are worried, it comes out as frustration. And these are the options that they can take. They can sit in the chair, they can fold their hands, they can take belly breaths, count to 10, or count to whatever number they can get to. They can drink some water, and then they can come back and they can play when they're ready. In the classroom, we're also going to have a calm down area for them to go to if they're feeling overwhelmed or if they just need a time break. Sometimes kids are going to school for the first time and they may not be used to being around all kinds of children. And that's okay. Sometimes they need just a space to go to and just relax for a little while. And we want them to feel comfortable doing it. We also have some toys that we like to put in here. It's in a nice little bucket. Um, you can use a basket, you can use a pillowcase, you can use whatever you have on hand. Um, these little foam cubes, they can either count the cubes or we have little um, things that they can do like 10 jumping jack jacks or five um, unicorn dances or whatever your child wants to do you can put on there and have them help you make this so that when they're in that center, um, in that area, they can choose what they're going to do and it's kind of like a game and it kind of takes their mind off of what they were angry about or worried about or upset about. We also have some balls. Um, these ones, I believe, were from Target, but you can get them from the dollar store. They're just sensory balls. Um, it helps children to be able to play with something or squeeze it or push on it when they're angry and frustrated, and it helps them to relieve some of that pressure inside of them. Um, we also have little stress balls. They come in awesome little um, designs. You can get however many you want or as few as you want. A little bobblehead is great. You can also put some little toys in there like little dolls or even action figures so that they can maybe work out their scene like I'm angry at you and I'm sad at you, that sort of thing because they love to play dramatic play like that. Um, the books, you can. there's millions of different books that you can put in there. You can have your children make their own. You can. We're going to have some available that you can look at in the classroom if you want to purchase them. Also, um, there will be some on the, um, the classroom, virtual classroom that you can look at and we're going to be reading them to you. So if you have an iPad or something of that nature, you can give it to them and they can listen to that book while they're in there. And you can always purchase it if you want or get it from the library. Um, these books are just about belly breathing, um, 
different books that you can use different things for. It's also important to make sure your child is comfortable inside of the calm down area. Here are some chairs or some suggestions that you could use within the calm down area itself. Um, there's beanbag chairs, there's like a comfy little couch, there's one of those camping chairs. You could always use pillows, always use blankets if you don't have any of these available to you and make it your own. Make your child come with you and, and set it up. That way it's theirs and they do what they want in there because this is their special place. Here are some suggestions on how you can set up the calm down area. It should be in a quiet area, maybe a corner of your living room or in this case right by a staircase. Um, they also have like a wider open area down here. Maybe you don't have a, a corner that you can use. That's okay, you can make it small just by placing things in certain areas like the basket of toys or the beanbag chair or the pillows. Just remember that it's how you want it to be. The reason that we want you to use this at home as well is because children don't know how to express their feelings. When they become overwhelmed or when they are upset or angry, a lot of times they act out or they may shut down. This area is where they can go and feel comfortable feeling those feelings. And we can work through them with books, with songs, with play, to help them realize that they can control those feelings and that they can move on from them, that it doesn't have to ruin their day. It's an area where you can join your child, and at first you most likely will have to join them when they come into the, because they're not going to understand how to use it. So you're going to have to show them and demonstrate for them how to use it. But they can also use it on their own, or they can bring a sibling. A lot of times I've noticed in the classroom, a child will be so used to going there when they're feeling upset that as soon as they see another child feel upset, they bring them over there because they know it helps them make them feel better. And that might even happen at home with you. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you guys have a great day.